In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a new network scout in Control Up Scout Bees. I already have a lot of network scouts running in my environment, but I'm going to select Create Scout. Here I'm going to select Network. And I could choose between a Cloud Hive or a Custom Hive. The Custom Hive allows me to choose a Scout Bees Hive that's installed and running internally within my own network. But I'm going to choose to use an external cloud hosted hive. And you can see there's an extensive list of different regions I could select to test from. I'm going to select EU Frankfurt. I could choose a ping test, traceroute, DNS lookup, or HTTP, HTTPS. I'm going to select HTTP for this one. I could do a get or a post. I'll do a simple get test, and I'm just going to test controlup.com. I'll give it a name. I'll select control up HTTPS. I could change how often it runs, but I'm fine with it running every five minutes. I could select to verify SSL for HTTPS, which makes sense. I could change the timeout from 10 seconds to more if I wanted to. Uh, I could change the authentication type, success codes, um, select custom headers to check. And I could select test now if I want to make sure that it's going to work okay. But I'm going to move ahead to alert policy. Uh, the basic is to check if whether it fails or not, if the service is a failure or not. Uh, it's going to perform one subsequent test. I'm going to select two instead. And I could change my notification methods. I could send an email to maybe a distribution list email, add my own custom webhook, or select an integration. For me, I'm going to select Teams. I'm also quickly going to add a different condition. Uh, I'm going to select to add a certificate expiration days and I'm going to set it to less than 14 days. So now if the test fails or results in a failure, it should trigger an alert or if it detects that the certificate for the site has 14 days or less until expiry, it should send an alert. And that's it. I'm going to save the scout and now it should start to run. So while we wait for it to execute its first test, I want to show you one of my other existing scouts that I've created here. You can see over the last 24 hours, this has run 289 times. It's a success. I could see a trend of the response time, response timings, time to first bite. And if I dive in to edit, I could show you what I'm doing here. It's a little bit different. So I'm checking for a string in the response here. Specifically, this string showing RD Broker is healthy. Microsoft have this URL that if you go to it in a browser, it's an API with this nicely formatted JSON. And right at the top, you can see health, RD Broker is healthy. So I'm triggering for my scout to look for that string in the response. And if it's not in there, it should be a failure. And that'll tell me if the Brokers for Windows 365 or Azure Virtual Desktop are having an issue or are not healthy. And we can see if I go back to my control up scout that I created, it looks like it has executed its first test and it was successful. We've only scratched the surface of what you can do with network scouts in this quick demo. If you'd like to learn more, head over to controlup.com.